Hi, my name is Sean Walker, and I'm a Principal Product Success Architect and part of the Ranger team here at ServiceNow. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about restricted software. So what we're going to go through today is go through a definition of what restricted software is. We're going to talk briefly about how to restrict software, and then we're going to take you through a demo of actually setting a software model as restricted and generating those removal candidates. So re what is restricted software? Um, and essentially restricted software, it, it's very common for employees to have rights to their machines and be able to install software um, that's really meant for personal use. Uh, and a lot of times that software can have negative impact on the company. So a lot of companies often have that list of software that's that's really prohibited to be installed on their devices. So even though a lot of companies do have acceptable use policies, etc., people still go ahead and install unauthorized software. So you know that unauthorized software on a corporate domain can really lead to a lot of compliance issues. It can also introduce potential vulnerabilities. Uh, and it can expose the company to really some potential HR and maybe some PR uh, issues. So it's really important for customers to be able to identify, hey, we want this restricted software is on our network. We want to get rid of it. So how restricted software works. So software can be identified as restricted by setting the attribute restricted software on the software model. So each night, a scheduled job called SAM Identify Blacklisted Software runs, which looks for restricted software installations and then generates the removal candidate for it. So there's also another video um, that I created about removal con uh, candidates and how to process through those. Um, the SAM manager, once our removal candidate's been generated, the SAM manager can really remove, like, review those removal candidates and begin the process to have that software removed. <clears throat> and then the SAM manager can review all the removal candidates pro and begin to process all of those installations at the same time. So now I'm going to jump into an instance and walk you through setting up a restricted software model. Okay, so now I'm logged into an instance of ServiceNow Washington with Software Asset Management installed, and I'm going to go ahead and restrict a couple of software models. So to do that, I want to go into the license operation and into my software models. So um, we noticed as we're poking around here, our IT department, our information security department has uh, given us a list. So we're going to take a look, and one of the things we see um that's in our instance is minecraft so a lot of times you know people install minecraft it's a game um but it is by microsoft and it is a licensable product and it's pretty pretty sure that your organization hasn't actually purchased it um somebody else has probably gone ahead and purchased this so we're going to identify this as restricted software and say okay we want this removed off of all of our machines so let's set up removal candidates for all of these so what we're going to do is go into the software model and down underneath the generals section, you're going to see there is a little checkbox called restricted software. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. And it's that simple to, to list a software model as a restricted software model and to auto automatically have removal candidates generated for it the next time you identify a restricted software job runs. Uh, another one that's fairly common too that a lot of people see is like there's the go to my PC. Um, that's a very common one as well that people can install fairly easily and this allows remote access to the machine. So we really don't want that on our machines because it can have some potential security issues. So we want to make sure anytime that this installs come in for this, those removal candidates get set up. So again, under general, we're going to go to restricted software and save this. Okay, so that's as simple as that to mark a software model as restricted. So what happens, as we mentioned in the presentation, is that um, every day there is a scheduled job that runs, and I'm just going to find it here for you guys. 
and there is a job called uh, if I can find it here there it is identify blacklisted software um, and I can go ahead and I can execute this now so what this is going to do is this is going to go out take a look for any software models that are marked as restricted and then it's going to see if there's any related installations and generate those removal candidates for it. So what I'm going to do now is come over into my removal candidates. I'm not sure if the job has finished yet or not, but let's quickly see if there are any removal candidates been generated for anything. So no, not yet. So we're going to pause this and, and wait till some of these the job finishes running and we start getting some removal candidates generated. Okay, so now the job has finished running and I can see underneath removal candidates, I have three installations for Minecraft that have been detected in the environment and reclamation candidates have been automatically created and begun the revocation process. So if you watch the other video I have on removal candidates, we'll talk a little bit about, you know, the different, the flow on the software reclamation workflow um and how it works and the different methods you can use to remove the software so that's what would actually remove the software so it unlike the other potential removal candidates where the user has the option of of, of saying yes i need to keep this software and no i don't need to keep this software with restricted software there is no approval because you're saying this software is not allowed in our environment so it automatically kicks off the reclamation process. Uh, and just to show you here as well too, we can take a look for that go to my PC and see if any were generated there. And yes, we have again, three reclamation candidates or removal candidates that were automatically kicked off for the go to my PC um, software model as well. And that ends the demonstration of remove or sorry of restricted software. So just to recap, in this video we talked about restricted software. So what is it and why is it important for most organizations to restrict specific software? We also talked uh, about the restricted software process. And then I jumped into an instance and showed you how to configure a software model for being restricted and then how to generate those removal candidates. For more information on this particular specific topic, you can take a look at uh, the ServiceNow product documentation and the software models field um, section does talk about the restricted software field, as well as there's a ServiceNow solution brief called restricted software lists. And those can be both very helpful for organizations wanting to start doing this. I hope you found this video helpful. I'll see you in the next one.